Hey guys, we're uh, here in the conference room just finishing up dinner, getting ready to do the show about, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes from now. Um, very uh, excited tonight because a lot of things we've been talking about for the past week are now kind of coming together, and uh, especially when we're talking about quantum entanglements and we're talking about uh, time loops and how things seem to be the same even though they're different. And uh, once again, Clio Dynamics plays a role. Um, there's also uh, demographic theory that plays a role, a number of things that play a role in trying to figure out what comes next. And everything seemed to happen after Friday the 13th, everything that, every bit of chaos from uh, Kabul to uh, earthquake in Haiti to a big storm moving through. There's another uh, supernova that went up too that NASA talked about, and they said that the asteroid Bennu is supposed to be closer, actually it's, it's moving closer to the idea of hitting us, but then they said, well, it's not going to hit us for so many millions of years, I'm like, well, why the hell are you talking about it then? And, uh, and they're sending the DART thing to basically intercept it. I don't know, it's just we never get a straight answer about anything anymore, and it just seems to me that if you're not preparing right now, then I don't know what to tell you. Um, yesterday I went to the store, or actually, on Saturday I went to the store and I was supposed to pick up some Capri Sun drink for Liam because he likes to drink Capri Sun. The whole shelf was cleared of Capri Sun. There was no Capri Sun anywhere. And I was shocked because usually it's there, it's in boxes everywhere, nothing. I wanted to get water uh, for my CPAP and also water for my house because uh, we have water. And we buy water in cases and, and um, there was nothing to be found. I had to go to another side of the store. Not only that, when I left the store, I was assaulted by some guy. Um, he was coming out. I was pulling up to my car, and uh, he tried to block my block me from getting into my car. When I told him I don't, you know, I said, get out of my way. He says, you want to punch me? Give me a punch. <laughs> I didn't, but he, punched, he shoved me, and I shoved him back. And luckily, there was a security guard that basically maced him right there. Came up behind me and maced him, and he ran down the, the the parking lot and then started throwing rocks at cars. Got in the middle of the road, started throwing rocks at cars. He was, you know. And then when the police showed up, they had to put a cover over his head because he was biting people. Jeez, Freaking so it was crazy. Meth yeah. zombie. I know it's um, you know. And then <laughs> Sunday, again, you know, shots fired in my neighborhood. About He's, eight, right? And what's that? About eight. About eight of them. And I'm just thinking to myself, you know, it's just getting, you know, people say, well, move. I, yeah, okay, we're doing that. We're going to do that, hopefully. But moving takes time and it costs money. And at the moment, you know, we're really working hard. I mean, it's hard enough to prepare, but then we have to prepare to get out of the house. And so, yeah, we prepare. And I urge you to prepare because you never know when you're going to have to bug out. You never know when you're going to have to go. You never know when you're going to run out of food. I mean, inflation's going up. People are freaking out. And you shouldn't take for granted that everybody's okay. I mean, you should check people and be very concerned and very, it used to be that you say, how you doing? And people would say, oh, I'm fine, because you know, people really don't want to know how you feel. You should start wondering how people feel. You should start asking them questions. You should start telling them you love them and you should start supporting them and understanding, um, having some empathy for them. Um, because it's, everything's going crazy. Um, and like I said, tonight's show is, called uh, Mobius Fugue. And what it deals with is not only am I going to talk about the loop, Mobius strip, and the Mobian type of thing, but also a fugue, which is where people are just in hysteria, so much so that they forget, um, they forget what happened, you know, years ago. And they have so little to grab onto that they try to fill in the blanks with things that they think are true. And that goes for what's going on in Kabul. It goes for what's going on uh, with the, you know, the Biden administration. What's going on with uh, COVID nineteen? I mean, everything seems to be such a jumble that you know you can't put, you, you can't assess it, and you can't think about it all the time. You have to get on with your life, and this is where we are. This is where we are. We're being on an onslaught of constant fugue, and it's crazy. And, and so I'm going to try to give a little bit of an assessment of what I'm seeing and how you can think and what you can think about. And, you know, 
and you can you can make your decisions after that. We're on from seven to ten p.m. on Aftermath.fm. It's free. I don't know how many people say, "Where can I listen to you for free?" And I tell them Aftermath.fm, or they're angry because they say you used to be free. We are free. We're free from seven to ten. But if you want to have the shows at a time where they're convenient for you, or you want to listen back to them, or you want to download them. What you need to do is you go to aftermath.media and sign up for our specials, which are you know, $10 for the month. We have a $79 special extended through August for the year and $139 for your friends and family. You get full access to everything we have from all the shows we have that are in podcast form to library books, documents, videos, uh, social networks, social media. And we have a new social media uh, platform that we're gonna be launching soon and hopefully a TV network that we're going to be launching soon. So there are a lot of things we're doing to try and give you more bang for your buck. We want you to be able to be well-informed, entertained, and a social media network we have is just amazing. People chat, talk to each other, and I do too. I get in there and I get a little addicted to it and wanting to talk to people. Anyway, so join us tonight, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Aftermath.fm or on a radio station near you or TalkStreamLive.com. We'll see you there.